Okay, uh, hello everyone. I am using my Sherlock Tabla Dual Boiler Espresso Machine from Costco, the $400 machine, to make myself a dirty chai latte. This is the whole reason why I bought these machines in the first place. I got into that, trying to find the perfect machine, cost versus performance, and tried a bunch of them going all the way up. I had a Ventrano 2B Evo <clears throat> for a while. I tried uh, all the Bravo machines, uh, except for the touches, but I've read that the touches are not that used, just more expensive. Uh, I mean, I did the touch um, machine, the Barista Touch, but I didn't do the Oracle, so I haven't touched those ones because they're $2,000 machines, appliances. But anyway, this is the whole reason why I bought these things. For 400 bucks, Costco with their forever warranty. These are a good thing. Do not mind my child in the background. So first things first, I get the Chamba Chai from Costco powder. You can use any one that you want, but I pour this into my cup. That I've already warmed, put hot water in there so I can warm up the porta filter as well as the docent funnel. If you don't, if you just warm up the porta filter that way, the docent funnel will not fit because that will expand, that will not, and they won't match up, especially if it's hot or water, okay? Using this tiramisu cup, part of the dessert, the shot glass, I use that as my dosing cup. So let me see, let's start making it. So I already had that, I got my milk. Okay, first things first. This over here. Where's that? Porter filter, still warm. Okay. okay. Use this to break up any clumps, especially at the bottom. Break up any clumps. Okay. That going. Got this from Etsy. That put this aside. So yeah, these type of machine you have three tongues on the porta filter. So you need to get a bottomless porta filter. You will need a three tongue one. Oh, wait, keep this in here. Just have to pop it up. Okay. okay. Put this on top. Okay, pop this in there. Okay, nice and snug. Okay, double shot. Okay. Start. Uh, evidently, I didn't strain enough because uh, right now there's channeling. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. Start at the top. And here are the three-way solenoid valve sucking out the excess water. But because I had the the filter paper on top, that it's not going to be completely as dry. It's going to have the wet filter paper on the top. Okay, move that to the side so it stirs it up. Also, move this around because this rotates on. It doesn't have to rotate on the axle. Okay, so I can stir it up, ready for it to warm up.
Okay, after I'm done, because well, I tried latte art, but I'm not really good at that. So, because I usually stir it all up anyway to stir up the. Okay, this is starting to get a little hot. Okay. this wall. If you turn on the with the other ones because it didn't matter because the single thermal block machines like these or I would just turn on the water to clear out the area but that would dump out the water and you know the pressure would come out and steam would come out and stuff like that. This one you won't have any jump out from the or drop out from the thermal block into the drip tray because it kind of stays in there, it doesn't push it all out, which is good, it saves a lot more water in comparison to the other ones. Okay, let me get this down. Okay, so froth up in bulk. And I have a little coffee grind in there. Put that in there. You know, just okay. So I didn't really whatever I did. I'm not good at that. So yeah. So ah, oops, made a little mess. But there you go. Um, I like this machine. I do not like the fact that I have to clean this up now. But oh well, such is life. But this is a great machine. I mean, in like thirty. Let me see. No, is this like 30 drinks? 40 drinks? No, 60 drinks or so. You break even on this and start saving money in comparison to going to Starbucks. That's just how I look at it. That's why I bought these machines, but overall, love this machine. And I'm gonna keep using it, so yeah. Oh, this is the port filter, so I need to dump that out. Okay. So, there, dumped it out. There it is right there. So I need to just wipe it off. So it's pretty good. Like that. As a person that I've used the uh, um, I've used a number of these espresso appliances. Use Breville Barista Express. I don't I actually use all the Barista Express ones. And I've also used the Bambino Plus. I like this this one the best out of all of them because um, 30 steps I have it set in the middle I mean I can make it or right in the middle not quite in the middle well so it has a lot of in there it has a lot of weight to you know when those these grinders start wearing down you can adjust it to make it finer to compensate for that but it's great so far do not yeah, my, my child talking about Coca-Cola in the ocean while he plays all, you know, games. Mm. And you stir it up because I didn't stir up the Chamba, but it's a great machine. So yeah, great machine overall and I love it. So yeah.